Their hostility doesn't end when you're silenced or you're in the darkest of their prison. The hostility will not stop so long as they know the pure Tawheed beats in your heart and runs through your veins. The hostility will come to a halt when Our students and brothers and sisters who are raised by Tawheed suffer in this hostility. They're lions and lioness with their belief and their preaching of Tawheed. A lion is heard five miles away when he roars. And when they're silent, Silence like lions as well, because a lion's silence is prominence. It's scary either way. A muwahid would rather live for only a day or even a moment as a lion and a stranger on Tawheed than a lifetime or centuries as a defeatist deluded sheep. A muwahid's belief in the phase of being a stranger should never be shaken or affected by the massive amount of haters of Tawheed and the hostility they face because I said they're lions, lions and lions walk, walk alone, alone while, while sheep graze together. When alleged Muslims Muslims revolt on their own lions when they revolt on the lions of Tawheed wherever they may be and wherever they are expect, expect nothing, nothing other than, other the, than dogs the dogs of the enemies to snatch them and that's the reality of today the umam of kufr will always collaborate against your Tawheed and the Muwahideen you see countries with internal feuds they have different parties and dissidents nations are always quarreling and competing with each other and they're at the brink of wars. Rafida have their feud in sex, the Murji'ah, and their abounding internal divisions and their wimpish bickering. Various people of Bid'ah constantly quarreling with each other. Their malice for each other is intense. All of their hearts are diverse and at odds. There's constant hostility between them. Their beliefs, their ideology, their aims, their goals, their religion, they're all different. You will never see them unite except on the pure true Muwahideen, wherever they are and wherever they may arise. It's Tawheed they have an issue with. Tawheed is amazing. When taught, it has an astonishing effect. When the pure hearts hear Tawheed, their hearts quake and tremble with awe. They feel a tremor in their hearts and it increases their faith. Tawheed also shudders and repels the filthy polluted hearts. It hurts them and fills their hearts, their guilty, disgusting hearts with more disgust and horror. It makes their hearts contract and shrink with bitter aversion and resentment. Allah Jalla fi ula told us that and it's insha'Allah one of the signs of the purity of the Tawheed that was taught. وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهُ وَحْدَهُ شْمَأَزَّتْ قُلُوبُ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ وَإِذَا ذُكِرَ الَّذِينَ مِن دُونِهِ إِذَا هُمْ يَسْتَبْشِرُونَ